Operant conditioning differs from classical conditioning. While both involve learning, operant conditioning centers on consequences of behavior, emphasizing voluntary actions. Classical conditioning, on the other hand, focuses on associations between stimuli, often involving involuntary responses. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we'll focus on the differences between operant and classical conditioning. So let's get into it. In classical conditioning, the responses are under the control of some stimulus because they are reflexes automatically elicited by the appropriate stimuli. Such stimuli are selected as unconditioned stimulus and responses elicited as unconditioned responses. Thus, Pavlovian conditioning in which unconditioned stimulus elicits responses is often called respondent conditioning. In instrumental conditioning, responses are under the control of the organism and are voluntary responses or operants. Thus, in the two forms of conditioning, different types of responses are conditioned. In classical conditioning, the conditioned stimulus and unconditioned stimulus are well defined, but in operant conditioning, the conditioned stimulus is not defined. It can be inferred, but it is not directly known. In classical conditioning, the experimenter controls the occurrence of the unconditioned stimulus while in operant conditioning, the occurrence of the reinforcer is under the control of the organism, that is, learning. Thus, for unconditioned stimulus in classical conditioning, the organism remains passive, while in operant conditioning, the subject has to be active in order to be reinforced. In the two forms of conditioning, technical terms used to characterize the experimental proceedings are different. Moreover, what is called a reinforcer in operant conditioning is called an unconditioned stimulus in classical conditioning. An unconditioned stimulus has two functions. In the beginning, it elicits the response and it also reinforces the response to be associated and elicited later by the conditioned stimulus. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for quality mental health resources, please visit my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.